Hello everyone, it's Lou Collins. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me. Um, today I've got some really exciting news. I've got another textures collection launching. I've actually lost track of which number this is, 14, 15, 16, I can't remember. This one has been in the planning for a long, long time and I am absolutely in love with it. I am thrilled. It's a lovely small collection, so it's really affordable to be able to get all six items here and they all work together beautifully. So it's called The Bookshop. Um, that really goes with my love of books. Things like To Kill a Mockingbird and certainly the Harry Potter books were uh, my absolute go-tos when I need something, uh, some comfort reading. But I love to read anything. I was a magazine editor as well at one point, so this really fits in with my personality. So what have we got within this collection? Um, let's delve straight in to, let's go to the books, shall we first? I think that makes sense. So first what, first up, we've got a stack of books uh, in die form. So this is the bookshop book stack, stack die set. <laughs> uh, it's a 10 piece die set here and they are really good size books here. So you can cut out all these different shapes and sizes in different colours, different orientations, different designs on the book spines as well. Um, you do have within the dies there are elements for you to stencil through if you want to or ink through. You've got two books as you can see on the ends here that are actually uh, open books so they're two parts. So there's 10 dies, there's eight different books for you to build up and just seeing these in action and you will see them in action across some of the other cards that I'm going to show you as well in a little while but they're really the focal point on these so you can stack them up if you want to you can have them stacked side by side as if they were on a bookshelf but definitely a must if you know anybody or ever make cards for anybody who is a book lover or if you're one yourself um, obviously because of the shapes you can make them into th blocks and things like that if you need to too so that is the book stack die set. Then I'm going to go to one that's not, not actually based around books, but I think these work really well. Now within textures, I am starting to build little characters into a lot of the collections. So we've got some uh, really fun characters coming up over the next few months. These are kind of the first ones really. So these are the layered birds and they are really, really cute. Um, within this set, you've got all the pieces you need. There's 15 pieces in total, but all the pieces you need to create two different bird shapes. But in reality, you can actually create lots of different ones. You can do blue tips, you can do robins, you can switch up the colors of all the different elements of the bird. So the wings, the headdress, the chest, uh, or the breast, they call it, don't they? The tail, etc. cetera. Um, you've got two different beaks there as well, different leg orientations, and you can flip these to make different types of birds too. So that's the size they are. They're nice big birds. You've seen them previously just on those two cards as well individually. They also work really well together. Now I love to distress each of the panels before I put them together. Um, I like to splat my ink, do some inking, add a little bit of text background. But if you're worried about putting these together, on the back of the packaging we've got the letters for each piece and how they go together so you're not on your own with that so it's really easy simply follow it's like painting by numbers but you're kind of layering by num by letters instead so we've got the birds there two of them there's one where i made him into a robin just by switching up the colors and you can mix and match parts of the bird so the wings are different shapes so uh, we've got more of a flick to the top of this wing this one is more of a point. We've got the chest, we've got the eye piece there, we've got the headdress. Uh, the tails are different shapes as well. This one's got more of a banner shape to it. This one's got a straighter end. The feet are different shapes, as are the beaks. So there's all these variations and you can mix and match them for different ones. So this really is a complete mix of the two different birds. And the same there, so different colors again. So you are color coordinating your little dick birds to suit your project. So this one I chose because I'd already had the blended background that I wanted to use there. And again, there's a good example of those books all stacked up. We'll probably come back to these cards as well in a little while to show you some of the other elements in the collection being used on those. Then this stamp set here. Now I absolutely adore this stamp set. Let's just pop the examples to the side for a moment. 
because there's two pieces in here. They're A5, or the main one, the main background one is A5. Let's take them out so you can really kind of appreciate the size of them. So there's both of them on their separate sheets for you. So this one is like a dictionary page. It is A5, almost A5. It's got the word lovely and lucrative at the top. So it's taken from the L's. So you've got the, um, you've got all different words in there. So you've got the word love, um, uh, what else have we got? Loving, loyally. So lots of oh, luck as well, lucky and luckily. Lots of words that you would use on cards. So they're all incorporated in there. Now within that, you have the faded background. So this oval in the center is where it all fades out into nothing. And then you have three different elements. So you've got a typewriter, a stack of books, and the floral piece. Now these work really well on their own, of course, but you can equally pop them inside this to make your own book pages. So this looks a bit like a flower identification book page. Um, you've got the typewriter there as well, sits just perfectly as do the books inside that faded oval in the middle. I think this would work equally as well with that things like butterfly stamps for, again, like those uh, butterfly identification books that you get, the old fashioned ones, which I love, which is kind of where the inspiration came from really. So there's an example of the flowers. Now the background there, I've actually used it just with brown ink so it's very subtle but then it fades and you've got the flower centerpiece there and it's just absolutely beautiful I've used glossy accents on that as well and then I've got the typewriter there which is I mean it's a statement stamp on its own you can absolutely use that any of these on their own um, but then I've used the stamp in the background uh, and that's with white embossing powder. So uh, really love, love, love this stamp set. And I can see me using this time and time again with so many different themes, different collections from textures, because it just works really well. Now, this die set is such fun. And it's a die set that, again, you're going to use with lots of different themes. So we've got a large heart in here, two large hearts, in fact, because we have the outline. And that's got a little bit of distressing around the edge just a touch and then we've got the inlay piece and the inlay piece does cut the outline as well so you can use them both together or separately and when they are put together you get this so you get this uh, lovely sort of dimensional textured panel there in that heart shape and it's not just a straight heart it is a slightly organic heart there you've also got your paper clip dice die here which I love I use it all the time I just think it's absolutely fabulous um, we've got the twine wrap too. These are all little embellishment bits that you didn't know you needed until now, but you really do. You'll be popping them on all your cards. You can see just here, just down to the left of me, I've got that silver paper clip just holding on to that sentiment there. They really are going to come in time and time again. Then another two dies we've got in this set as well, it doesn't stop there, are these ones which actually cut your punched edge um, or punch edges, like your notepad edges where you've got all the holes in there. So you've got a straight edge one and then you've got one that you can actually die cut into the center of any piece of paper or anywhere on the paper. And you can then tear it and rip at it um, and yeah, just position it where you like. So you've got the two options and just a few examples. So there's actually going back to that stamp set we were looking at a moment ago. There's the book stack um, together, just that on its own. Just stamped that, cut it out, coloured it in with alcohol inks and added that there. So uh, yeah, really good fun. That one, that whole stamp set you'll use time and time again. But we've got here along the edge, we've got that um, hole punch as such, the die that adds all the note, the notepad edging, I suppose you'll call it. You've got the heart there as well, and you've got the twine, of course. It just builds up a beautiful card. Now here, I just used the textured piece, so the overlay for the heart on its own, cut that from white cardstock, laid it on top of a piece of inked, a panel of inked cardstock, and it just looks as if it's been a mask or a stencil, which is really beautiful. Love that, really quick, contemporary, modern card. And here I've used the heart again. I've also used, as you can see, that um, notepad edge on the sentiment piece there. But on the heart, I've layered between some foam, adhesive foam, double-sided, and that's really raised the heart up 
given it that dark look because it was a black foam as well. You can get this at Craft Stash. I love it. I use it all the time and it just adds this fantastic, really textured and really dimensional heart panel. And that's the focal piece. So it can be the background or it can be the focal piece. It's entirely up to you, but definitely again, a must have set. Um, I added this into the bookshop collection because it's got the text within the heart, very much what textures is all about. Then we've got our sentiments, which you've seen on virtually every card I've already um, shown you. We've got them uh, vertically, um, diagonally. We've actually got them as well in the background. So let me just see, um, where did I show you the robin? I think that was here. So for example, I've got these sentiments just stamped into the background there just to add dimension to that. Um, and then of course, I do use them directly onto my card too. Um, so we've got eight different sentiments here. We've got beautiful, time, forever, thankful, sympathy, celebrate, happy and love. And each one has the phonetic spelling of each of the words, whether it's an adjective, a noun, an adverb, etc. Um, and then we've of course got the description. So just as you'd have from a dictionary piece. Um, I mean, I love dictionaries. I love dictionary pages, as you can see with my stamp set here, but I don't really like too much cutting into them. Uh, and there's certain words you want to use time and time again, because these words are going to take you throughout the entire year with all your different occasions. So I've used the word time here, but I've also added this in with the books and the typewriter from this stamp set. So I've done some layered stamping there and some vintage stamping and you notice we've also got the twine on the edge there too and there's just an example of those stamps when they're stamped out how lovely and clear they are but also you can stamp them in any color you can stamp them in the middle of your project or you can tear them out use those notebook edge dies if you want to as well now lastly and this one's really good fun and i've got a feeling if you watch craft stash tomorrow you might get the opportunity to get these uh, for free when you're purchasing a certain amount of the bookshop. So definitely watch my live on Craft Stash tomorrow. I'll be doing demonstrations on there. Um, I'll link everything below for you. Um, but these are brilliant. So there's 20 pieces in the ephemera set. So you've got things like public library. You've got the book, open books there. You've got stacks of books as well. You've got library cards, real books. You've got Look at that library stamp. I love these. So we go through, we've got smaller pieces. We've got those florals that we've got in the stamps. And then we've got also got larger pieces as well that will be your backgrounds, uh, more stacks of books and such. So these are going to be absolutely fabulous and just absolutely work with everything. And here you can see you've got the typewriter in there and such, and they just make the perfect accent. So that is your introduction to the bookshop collection from Textures. This will be available on Craft Stash, hopefully from this evening, if not from Friday morning. That's uh, Friday the 16th of September 2022, if you're catching this later. I'll add below the link to purchase all of these, the link to Craft Stash for all your essentials as well. And I hope you can join me for the live at 12.30 on Friday, where I will be demonstrating and really playing with all of these. So thank you for joining me, everybody and I hope to see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.